Hello everybody, today we are going to try to literally keep alive a 10 year old MacBook Pro. This is a 2010-15 inch MacBook Pro and it suffers of a known problem which makes it kernel panic when the GPU changes power state. It's not a problem of the graphic card itself, but of the power delivery circuit. It is solvable by replacing a capacitor and it is a simple fix, as long as we have experience and the right tools. I have neither. Let's see how it'll go. If you're thinking about it, yes, this is my main computer. And if I mess this up, it'll be a big problem. We can see how old this computer is from the huge number of ports and slots that it have. And this strange slot on the right side. That, some says, it is suitable for reading an ancient technology called CD or DVD, I guess. I am trying to fix it because it is working and it does it really well. It would be a shame to throw away a Mac like this just for some random kernel panics. As always, the first thing to do is to disassemble it and take the motherboard out of the case. So, I've removed the battery, the screws, the fans, disconnected all the cables, and, after a quick brush, we have our motherboard ready to work on. Zooming in, we can see the components we have to swap. This is the tip of my tweezers. You can see how small this capacitor is. My plan is to submerge it in hot tin, heating the component and detaching it. I've prepared my hot iron and, after some time and trying not to pull apart the contacts on the board but only the component, I was able to remove the capacitor. I've then removed the old solder cleaned the flux with some IPA and added some fresh tin. With a lot of patience I've then soldered a new component that, as you can see, is a little bit bigger. I won't say that it was easy, but I was able to do it. I know that with a hotter station I would have achieved a better result, but I don't have one. And as you can see everything is ok, since the pads are not shorting and I have continuity to the control pads on the board. Last thing to do is clean everything, reassemble the computer and see if it still works.
Podcast. As we can see, not only it boots and still works, but I'm rendering this very video on that machine without any kernel panics. It was a tough process, but I've saved my beloved MacBook that will continue to serve me for as long as I need. I hope. Thanks for watching this week's video. I invite you to subscribe, leave a like, and tell me in the comment if I should upgrade my machine or if this Mac is still okay. In the meanwhile, I'm Leo and, as always, remember to keep things alive.